Hello everybody, this is Charles and I am back with another toy review, this time for Takara Tomy's Transformers Masterpiece MP30 Cybertron Medic Ratchet. Alright, so Ratchet is the uh, Nissan Sherry Vanette. Very nice uh, looking box here, same size as uh, Iron High, and here we see Ratchet with a lot of his accessories, its pictures and face change and so on and so forth. Without further ado, here is Ratchet! Alright, okay, so before I carry on the review on uh, Ratchet, I just got this for actually from uh, Robo Robo today, and then if you were to buy the Asia version, you get a coin. So this is similar to Iron High, you actually get a coin for Ratchet. Alright, very nice uh, masterpiece coin for Ratchet. So uh, Masterpiece is, is not just about collecting the toys, I mean right now these days people are also into collecting the coins. So uh, yeah, it's cool that for the Asia version you get a coin for the Masterpiece uh, toy. Alright, and uh, for Ratchet it comes with a very nice bio card, okay, very nice uh, art bio card. And it says uh, strength, sorry, stamina 4, intelligence 8, speed 4, endurance 5, rank 7, courage 8. Firepower 3, skill 10. Alright, very apt uh, for Ratchet. And it comes with a set of stickers. Okay, I haven't applied them, so these are a set of stickers you can apply for Ratchet. The Autobot logos, the ambulance signs, and everything. Okay, so yes. So, Ratchet, first thing first, um, okay, the white. I like the white, uh, it's a very nice glossy uh, white color, so it doesn't look like cheap plastic. Uh, my only grip about the Ratchet uh, is that. Um, Unfortunately, the the paint okay the paint applications on some parts of it okay you can you can clearly tell which part of the uh, toy is painted. For example, over here you can see this part is actually painted white. The top here is actually painted white. Uh, this part is actually painted white as well. So it's like white on white. In fact, quite a fair bit of the robot is painted white, except for the lower part over here. These parts are are not painted. Okay. So these parts are not painted. The back over here, uh, I think it's not painted, but the top, okay, mainly the top of the white is painted. And the paint application this time is, uh, unfortunately, okay, I'm not sure whether it's just my piece or is it across the board, but the paint application in a sense is not so well done because you see uh, some overlay of the paint over here. You can't really see from, from my camera resolution, but uh, the paint is, is a little bit uneven over here. And during transformation, you do get quite a fair bit of paint chips. So I already suffered some paint chips along over here, this part, over here, mainly along this part. Okay, this part, the paint chip happens mainly along this part when you actually convert the uh, chest version. So it's quite unfortunate, but um, if you do not scrutinize, okay, closely, you can't tell that the paint has chipped. Okay, so that's a good thing. Uh, so this is one of the reasons why I have two pieces of masterpiece. Uh, in most cases, except for I think, except for Shockwave, I only bought one. Yeah, but I bought two for, for Ratchet, one for vehicle and uh, one for robot mode. And uh, yeah, there's some paint chips. So I'll I'll just share with you guys how to be careful in transformation so that you do not uh, chip the paint uh, much further. So Ratchet, okay. First thing first, this uh, siren portion you can actually. It's a spring mechanism, you can actually press it down. Okay, so when you press it down, it looks like a normal van, okay? But the purpose of this mechanism is actually so that he can actually go into the trailer of MP10 Optimus Prime. So that's the purpose of it. So it's spring loaded and it's quite cool. Okay, this is how it works. And uh, Ratchet comes with a lot of his accessories. It comes with an accessories tray just like Ironhide does. You can see his alternate face, which I'll change later. So he has a lot of guns, okay? But most of these guns are not weapons, they are more like uh, medical guns. So he does have this uh, this gun, two of them, similar to Ironhide, the same exact uh, same gun. Let me just look at, let me just do a comparison. Yes, it's the exact same gun and exact same color as the one that Ironhide has. So apart from that, he has some other uh, accessories uh, which I'll go through more in detail later. Okay, so right now to transform Ratchet carefully. Okay, I'm just gonna start with uh, different ways of transformation. Okay, we gotta first do this, okay? Extend the wheel outwards, okay? Then just slot the wheels in. So I'm transforming this part first. So the next part of uh, Ratchet, you need to raise this portion up. You gotta raise this back portion. So as you raise this back portion, be really careful, okay? Let me just tell you guys what to watch out for. So instead of moving it downwards first, right, and then getting this part out, because when you get this part out, this will scratch against this. So I already have quite some amount of paint chip over here because I actually follow instructions and actually move this out first. So the way to minimize, okay, I won't say avoid completely, but minimize the paint chip is to, okay, get swing the uh, arms out first. So you gotta release this and swing it out this way. So you gotta swing out slightly, okay. 
so that this you minimize contact over here in between this part okay and this part okay and you try to swing the arms out okay from underneath okay so from underneath so that you minimize the contact okay and this way you can protect the sides from being chipped if not you get quite a fair bit of paint chip so over here just lock it over in place first just tap it over in place first and over here right now you see this part so you over here you can follow instruction you can just pull this part forward okay pull this forward and again you have to be careful for this part hitting against this part okay so for this chest portion over here okay you do run the risk of uh, chipping the paint over here as well so especially when you move this window uh, portion down uh, this uh, this part down so what you need to do okay you need to hold these two sides okay spread them out a little bit okay and let it align downwards okay because if you do not spread them out right this this part okay will scratch again this part okay let me just show you guys because if you do not pull them out a little bit and push it down this will scratch again this and uh, that's where your paint chip happens so hold it by both sides so slowly slowly align it and go underneath and once you're past here you're safe and you follow the alignment over here the robot just be careful and be slow about it gently and okay okay let me just get this done properly okay and you have the uh, chest portion more or less done okay let me see over here okay ah okay i know where i'm missing right now you have to first move this part upwards sorry my bad you have to first move this part upwards okay and then you align them slowly nicely and you collapse them in gently okay just as gentle as possible just collapse them in at this juncture you can uh, lock the arms uh the shoulders in place okay with these two tabs just lock them in place okay so that's it and over here we'll leave it here done for this part first and over here we'll lift this up pull out this portion lift this up a little bit pull this out okay this will get the this part free okay and then over here unpack over here tap it in over here unpack fold it in okay likewise over here just need to pull this out a little bit slot it in okay pull it up a little bit tap it in okay so next thing what you want to do you want to break the uh, legs like how you uh, snap a kick in half okay it's done then extend the knees extend the knees rotate them rotate them rotate this 180 degrees downwards okay rotate this 180 degrees downwards go to the back flip this out to form the back of the feet okay flip this out okay next thing you want to do you want to um, flip the legs down okay flip this backwards 90 degrees okay and degrees back okay and you pack it in over here okay so you push it in and as you push it in you pack it in like lock it nicely in place right now over here okay flip this out okay unpack this move it upwards and pack the chest nicely okay so we're almost done so right now we're gonna do we're gonna flip the arms open, extend the elbows, okay, flip out the fist, flip this part in, flip this part in, and step it in place. Oh yes, one more part. This part over here, this tab over here, you see this white tab? Yeah, it's painted. So when you flip the elbows in, uh when you tap the elbows in, unfortunately you're quite certain to uh chip yeah, chip the paint. So just uh, be mentally prepared for that okay so you flip this in and then you gotta tap it in place try your best not to chip any paint but you uh, can't get you can't uh, miss out on uh, chipping the paint unfortunately so here and you fold the arms down and here it's ratchet in robot mode so it looks really really white really nice okay i like the uh, color like i said the uh, white on the plastic looks very nice it doesn't look cheap okay uh it's really nice Really, really cool so articulation wise you know it has a full 360 motion on the head his neck can move upwards as much uh, his 
he can move his uh, rotate his arms upwards 90 degrees over here you can't go full 360 because of the way the arms are made okay the uh, elbows 90 degrees you can rotate the wrist 360 elbows can rotate 360 as well he has a uh, waist rotation okay he can uh, spread his legs out pretty wide similar to iron height okay he can do a kneeling stance okay you can actually lift this up okay he can actually do a uh, kneeling stance quite well which is cool yep which is cool that you can do a kneeling stance okay and uh, there are subtle differences between Ironhide and Ratchet in uh, robot mode which I shall do the comparison uh, right now so here is Ironhide and here is uh, Ratchet okay so apart from color differences obviously there are some differences uh, when it comes to these two uh, robots okay first thing the head scalp is different okay let me just get Ratchet balance first so the head scalp is uh, different for Ironhide and Ratchet okay obviously chest wise it is the same I'm going just going down over here it's the same arms wise it's exactly the same but when you look at the uh, the lower torso okay it's very different so you see the design of iron height okay it's like a diamond shape over here but for ratchet it's flat okay it's just flat and it's a totally different design okay and one more thing about let's say for example look at iron height when you flip this portion up you don't see any further details upwards you just look at basically like a v-shaped underwear okay but for ratchet Okay, when you flip this up okay you do see at the bottom at the bottom over here there's another part here so i'm sorry that my camera is uh, not high res but there is uh it, the, the design here is actually quite quite detailed so there is some detailing uh beneath and it's carved out the detailing is carved out beneath this skirt which is quite uh, a nice touch i feel and then moving down to the uh thighs okay you realize that for example the thighs are basically the same design but for ratchet you see these two lines okay it's not drawn on this two is actually carved in so it's a different design altogether so the the lines over here are carved all the way okay 360 all around the legs so you can say that the uh, they actually did some detailing to uh, iron height uh, sorry to ratchet to make the thighs different okay so the uh, rest of legs wise is um, exactly the same okay there's no difference in that so I, I'm quite Say how should I say? It? Kudos to uh, Takara Tomi for making a subtle difference. Uh, I mean, make giving these uh, minor touches to make Ratchet different from Iron High, so they feel they are getting a different figure. So it's really cool. And uh, Ratchet comes with, like I said, a lot of accessories, um, a lot of guns. I'm not gonna show all of them. I'm just gonna show some trademark ones. For example, like this one, which is like it's a medical device that he uses uh, for repairs most of the time. As we can see on the TV, uh, so uh, I'm trying to be careful about here. So we're gonna slot this in. Okay, this uh, barrel part is at the bottom. So you see Ratchet doing his uh, repairs, and he does have an effect part to uh, show the uh, repairs going on. Okay, which is really cool. No, this is really cool. You see, he does his repair. For example, he's repairing iron height. Uh, yeah, this effect part. Okay put this apart first I'm gonna take this out okay be careful when you take this out because and, and hold it at the end rather than the tip because I feel that this plastic might chip if you might break if you just try to pull it out in the wrong angle so just make sure when you take it out take it out from the bottom over here uh, he does come with a lot of other tools like um, you know like typical of a doctor it's like spanner and a screw dry uh, and a, yeah spanner spanner and I'm not sure what this is uh, someone can enlighten me on that Okay, let me just flip out the fist first. So the nice thing about the web, uh, this uh, tool that he has is that he can hold it really, really well. So he holds it very easily, see? You don't even need to pack it in, he just holds it really well. So it's the same for both sides. Yeah, he just holds the uh, spanner really well, which I like. And uh, he does have like a uh, few other things like his, uh, I think this is one of his medical guns. Yeah, he can slot it in easily as well. And what else he has? Oh yes, he has this also. That um, goes on top over here. Yeah, I think he uses it as some sort of a uh, medical device as well. Yeah, just looking. Oh yes, and the effect part. The effect part uh, can be added to this as well. Cool. All right. So. Uh, 
and (uh) one other thing about ratchet is that (uh) I feel that the they made an improvement to the head okay they made an improvement to the head in a sense that (uh) I'm not sure whether some of you experience it but for for my case ironhide's head is a little bit (uh) loose so when you take the mask out then (uh) put the mask in for ironhide it seems it tends to fall off easily so for ratchet wise (uh) they've made it tighter so which is good especially for the alternate face I feel that it's tighter than the basic face (uh) so you see the alternate face of ratchet smiling yup so despite the fact that you know in the (uh) in a lot of parts of the (uh) cartoon like ratchet is actually quite a grouchy (uh) robot because of the (um) a lot of repairs that he needs to do and he's uh, like the only medic around (uh) to repair the autobots apart from Will Jack who is like a more like a technician scientist so ratchet is the only medical officer and uh, looking at ratchet you know with smiling face makes me happy and sad at the same time because it reminds me of the transformers movie whereby ratchet was just brutally murdered by the decepticons it's like you animals how could you even i mean it's i mean the ethics of going to war i mean if there's any ethics ethics at all is that you do not kill the medical officer but obviously the decepticons have no ethics at all they just kill everybody it's like nobody kills a medical officer and there's such a rarity in the transformers universe it's like only ratchet is like my gosh how can you even kill a doctor man it so, feels so sad you know i mean and um I, I was wondering earlier on it like the in the transformers cartoon you do see ratchet fixing the autobots but you don't see the damaged decepticons get repaired so i was wondering whether they had a medical officer and then it dawned upon me that the decepticons have the constructicons so i guess when the decepticons get damaged or battle damage it's probably the constructicons who um, fix them up right whereas for the autobots you know it's mainly ratchet and uh, wheeljack who actually fix the uh, damaged autobots so yes again here ratchet you know it's very nice I, i'm really happy that ratchet you know g1 toy even though you know he's a lot of white you know it's mainly white and a little bit of red over there and some people might find it plain but if you are a g1 fan i mean you are a g1 fan you know that this is like the most uh, cartoon accurate ratchet you can ever have and it's really cool and I, I like the fact that uh, I mean the overall design of the MP uh, Masterpiece Ironhide and Ratchet are so spot on it's really good it's really I'm really happy with it and uh, despite the fact that um, it has paint chip issues unfortunately uh, I think it's it's not something that would prevent me from buying this even though I, I wish that the paint was uh, better applied you know, I mean, in the case of Ironhide, I didn't face any paint chip issues at all, even though the same parts are painted. Whereas for Ratchet, I had this, and you know, I'm not sure whether it's because the paint used was um, not as uh, durable, or or just or just the fact that you know the paint just doesn't really stick on well. Uh, but that's really minor because the base of this vehicle uh, of Iron of the plastic is white as well. So unless you look at it really closely you can't really tell the paint chip okay in fact i didn't even realize i had paint chips until i realized that when i was transforming ratchet i had bits of white on my hands so i knew that uh, somewhere or rather paint has been chipped off so be really careful when transforming ratchet okay especially when you want to transform the chest portion uh, from and flipping on the arms okay this is where most of the paint chip happens so it happened to me uh, and I found out how it happened why it happened so here I am sharing with you guys so that when you transform uh, ratchet yourself you can take note to avoid uh, the parts where the uh, to be okay take note to be careful transforming the parts whereby uh, I highlighted that the you are more likely to uh, chip the paint off the toy when you transform it all right so here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.